Now, this is important. NVIDIA and Tesla just signed a groundbreaking billion dollar chip deal that's about to transform them both. And the market hasn't really grasped them yet. And that's crucial. A potential $10 trillion opportunity for these two stocks in the next few minutes. I'm going to break down exactly how we can benefit from this if you're here to make some money. If you're here to make some money, put a smiley emoji in the com comments down below. And if you're short on time, I'm going to give you the essence here. The new GB200 AI chip partnership between Tesla and NVIDIA isn't just another supply deal. It's the foundation for Tesla's autonomous driving breakthroughs and NVIDIA's dominance in automotive AI. Best of all, my analysis suggests a 200% upside potential for both stocks over the next 12 months. Speaking of potential, of course, the research here was uh, carried out by my very, very smart golden retriever, Winston, who sniffed out all the fascinating details. And you obviously have to do some risk management and come to your own conclusions. But when I was an investment banker for a little while, I witnessed firsthand how partnerships and how deals can reshape entire industries. And this one here reminds me of the Intel-Microsoft alliance that created a $500 billion market in the 90s. With that said, this deal here is potentially 20 times bigger. I'll explain and we'll also look at the stock charts to see if we are at a breakout moment for these stocks yet that we might be able to really, really benefit from. And speaking of these breakout moments, if you want to spot them before they happen and learn to sell before the stock collapses, so you don't become a bag holder. Well, I've got something for you. I've recorded a 30 minute masterclass as a combination of everything I've learned as a former banker and then as a trader for the last 10 years or so. And this is helping me every single week spot breakouts that make me very, very significant returns that are a multiple of what the market does. And maybe you're thinking, I ah, nobody beats the market consistently. See, that's a myth. And the myth comes from this. If you start a fund with $10 billion and then you become successful in year one, you're now going to attract $100 billion. Now you have so much money that you can no longer invest in the kind of smaller stocks that we invest in because if you do, you move the market. You are no longer the nimble retail investor you once were. And that's why the very large funds very rarely beat the market. It's very, very hard for them. Actually, for you and me, I believe it's much, much easier. Now, you have to, can't take my word for it. You obviously have to do your own research. And how do you do your own research? Well, watch the masterclass. You'll actually learn the exact rules that I use to spot these breakouts. And if you then apply them, well, I think it's going to change your life. Seriously. So it's changed my life and it's free. All you're going to do is go to the link down below, phoenixrents.org slash get free. But let's examine here the synergy between Tesla and NVIDIA. And I have a feeling you might enjoy this. You see, back in the 80s, Intel and Microsoft created something extraordinary. Intel's processors combined with Microsoft's operating system didn't just sell computers. They changed how humans interacted with technology and they generated $500 billion in value. And what was the result? Well, Intel's and Microsoft stock prices multiplied by how much? A hundred X during that partnership's golden age, a hundred X. But here is what's crucial. Their success wasn't just about the products they made. It was about creating an entirely new ecosystem. You then fast forward to 2015 when TSMC and Apple formed their partnership. TSMC's manufacturing excellence combined with Apple's chip design created the most powerful mobile processors we've ever seen. Their collaboration generated over a trillion dollars in market value. But consider this, what we're seeing with NVIDIA and Tesla is potentially way, way bigger. While Intel and Microsoft dominated personal computing and TSMC and Apple revolutionized mobile computing or, you know, these little things here, NVIDIA and Tesla is targeting something far bigger, the convergence of AI and transportation. So what's the key difference? Scale and speed. 
Automotive AI as a market was originally projected to hit 7 trillion by 2030. That is 14 times larger than what the PC revolution created. But with the uptick in the speed of these AI processes and the regulatory hurdles tumbling all around us, the value creation timeline is going to be way, 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 way shorter. So why now? What is it all about? Well, this chip called the GB200 isn't just another chip. It is a chip that can process neural network training 400 times faster than its predecessor. So it creates three immediate growth accelerators that I'm going to break down for you. One, FSD development is going to hit this super cycle. The jump from version 13, which is already extraordinary, only came out like a week ago, and the jump to version 14 could be not happening in months, as we would expect, but now actually in weeks. So full autonomy could be achieved by the second quarter of 2025. Yeah, that's in like six months. And then number two, we have the Model Q platform. And that's where the timing gets extraordinary. Tesla just announced their Model Q. We don't have all the details, but they told Deutsche Bank. Tesla themselves told Deutsche Bank that it's going to be selling at less than $30,000. And how are they doing that? Well, they're using the existing production lines. There's no massive capital expenditure for new facilities, and it's going to allow Tesla to scale to production insanely rapidly while maintaining margins and crushing the competition because nobody else out there can make a decent EV for less than 30K once the subsidies go away. And the subsidies, in my opinion, are going to go away in January with Donald Trump coming in because that'll be the favor he's returning to uh, Elon Musk. So why would Elon Musk not want EV subsidies? Because he's the only company that can make EVs that cheaply. So it's going to hit GM and Ford and everybody else out there really freaking hard. And this car, well, it's going to come with FSD capabilities. So it's going to be self-driving. It's basically a robo-taxi waiting for regulatory approval, masquerading as an affordable electric vehicle. So it'll be the first car, really, that people will just send out there. You know, you let it drive you home. You sit in your couch and go, oh, let's send the car out to make some money. And then it's going to be, you know, the Uber out there. And then at number three, we have the network effect multiplier. Each new Model Q will contribute to Tesla's data collection network. And with the faster chips that process data four times faster, we're looking at an exponential acceleration in fleet learning. What previously took months will now take days because people are going to buy these Model Qs. You know why? Because they're cheap and they're affordable and therefore they're going to sell a lot more cars. And the more cars are out there, the better the neural network gets, the better FSD gets, the faster we get to self-driving. So it's just this like flywheel that's just at the point of yeah, almost being what we want it to be. And here's the crazy part. Tesla's revenue trajectory is about to hit an inflection point. My analysis and Winston's digging suggests we could double revenue in 2025 alone. Double. And their software margins are expanding to 90%, which is some insane profit potential. And for NVIDIA, the multiplier effect is even more dramatic. AI infrastructure spending projections have been underestimating what's actually going on there. We're not looking at a trillion dollar in spend anymore. We're looking at three trillion dollars in spend over the next two years. And their software revenue is starting to pick up. I think we're going to get a 5x to a 10x annual growth in NVIDIA software revenue, which is again coming in at super high margins. So you combine all of that, you combine these partnerships and you might start to understand why I'm so bullish on this alliance. So the bottom line is here, we've got a timeline that's insanely packed with catalysts. The first half of 2025, we're going to get the Model Q launching with FSD version 14. The initial robo taxi services are going to roll out and select markets. The GB200 chips is going to go into Tesla's Colossus supercomputer, which will be complete and it's going to accelerate AI development dramatically. You move into the second half of 2025 and you're going to see a nationwide robo taxi service fleet. FSD15 is expected to achieve human level autonomy, except we don't text, get distracted, smoke or do whatever. And that seemed impossible just months ago. 
an international market will begin to start seeing these services too when the Muppets who run those countries get their head out of their butt. And in 2026, everything's going to come together. It aligns perfectly with Elon's ambitious targets. We're looking at a fully operational global robo-taxi network. And what's the really interesting part here? Software revenue will exceed hardware sales for the first time. Hardware sales come in with about a 20% gross margin if you're doing a good job. Software revenue is going to come in with an 80 or 90% gross margin. So the revenue is worth four to five times that of the hardware revenue. And that is why I am insanely bullish on Tesla. And here's the thing, the current PE ratios, price over earnings, uh, Tesla is over 100, Nvidia is over 50, and that seems high. But if my numbers are correct, they're actually really conservative. Both companies are about to double their current growth rates. The total addressable market is expanding to 10 trillion by 2030. But here is what makes this truly special. The feedback loop advantage. Tesla's free lead collects data. It gets better. It gets faster. And FSD will be the greatest autonomous software in the world. And guess what's going to happen? Every car manufacturer in the world there is going to license it. Yeah, that's just how it works. So let's talk specific price targets here. For Tesla, I'm looking at $500 in six months. I think we might actually get that very, very soon. I think we're going to be there in Q1. As the Model Q launches and the numbers start to become public of how many they're selling, I think we're going to get to $800 in 2025. And look, I have not a crystal ball, right? But that's just the way I'm looking at it. That's where I'm putting my money. That doesn't mean you should. You have to have your own risk management and you need what? stop losses, right? I can't say that often enough. What about NVIDIA? I'm looking at $200 in the first half of the year and then $300 in the second half of the year. Uh, that comes with Blackwell deployment. That comes with the next generation of chips coming out faster, the Ruben platform. And then how do we actually trade this? Well, let's have a look at a stock chart here. I'm pulling up uh, Trade Vision here, which is a software that we built to give you quality data. Uh, we just called another breakout here at, at 420 or, or thereabouts. So if I look at the uh, the more advanced chart here on the top on Tesla, just click on the top right there. It opens that up for you. And I'll also show you my, my, my current trade here. There's a trade tracker in here now, which tracks um, all the major brokerages. We keep adding brokerages to every single day. If you click on my open options positions here on Tesla, and this is a $30,000 teaching portfolio. Uh, we are up $28,000 just on the Tesla position right now. So just that Tesla position would have doubled our portfolio. And this is in the last, what, three, four months. So we bought here. You can see the little arrows there and there. And um, yeah, very, very nice. So we've actually, that's $40,000 there now in unrealized P&L. We already did 30,000 previously. I haven't imported them into this tracker yet. So we are up 70K on a 30K portfolio. We've turned 30K into 100K this year. Not bad, right? Uh, and, and we did very little, very, very little. But let's look at the stock chart here of Tesla. And yeah, it looks beautiful. Um, that's definitely a breakout. Maybe could have called that a little earlier, like around here. But still, it's a nice breakout. We're on the upward trend. The real breakout to me was happening down here at 230 and then here at 270. You could have gotten in on those. How? You could have learned how to spot those because there are rules for that, rules that Wall Street's been using for decades. And how do you learn that rule? You go watch what? The masterclass. Links down below. Seriously, if you want to watch the, leave, leave the video right now, watch the masterclass. I'm 100% happy. 100% happy because that's going to give you more insights and information and improve your skills than looking at the Tesla chart here for the next couple of days. So, so, so please do. But what I love about this is that we have this resistance here at $400 and the market makers are positioned at $400. And for the last two days, we didn't quite make it through it. And then yesterday, we really leaped up and we're at 428 bucks right now. So the market makers are left in the dust crying, which is, which is what we want to happen. So this looks very, very bullish. Volumes picking up every single day that the rally is happening here. So insanely bullish on, on Tesla right now. For NVDA, slightly different story. So we had our, let me just put a moving average line in here. We had the last real breakout here in May at about 100 bucks. Yeah, you could have bought NVIDIA at 100 bucks. Um, there was some before that as well. There was one down here at 51 in January. You could have bought NVIDIA at 51. And you might be thinking, oh, I'm going to kick myself. No, don't look at it that way. Just learn how you spot that. And then the next breakout doesn't have to be on NVIDIA. It could be any stock. 
you will you will spot it. So you see the blue line in here? That's my trend, right? When you drop below the trend, especially when you gap down, you're going to want to start taking some profits. Um, you might even want to exit the whole trade. And then the 50-day moving average line would be your, your sort of lifeline. And we did close ever so slightly above that. So we're kind of like, it's holding. But uh, I would have a pretty pretty tight stop loss on this on this right now because it could go a little bit lower because do you see the way the way the market works is always the same it comes in 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 patterns so you get a rally you get a sideways pattern and then either you break out to the top or to the bottom and that's a 50 50 situation as so you don't know that so you got to look for these signals when we break through key resistance lines and support lines. And when we do that, well, we take action and we take that action actually preemptively. We automate it. Our risk management's always automated, but we're going sideways. Not a lot of volume down here. That's kind of okay. It's kind of natural to be expected. And, you know, it's not the first time we did that, right? Rally up, sideways action, rally up, sideways, a little bit down. You know, recovering next rally sideways. Uh, I'd expect it to continue to do this, but you can have these dips and they can be unpleasant. And then people sell down here and then they lose money. So why not sell at a profit, put the money into something that's rallying so you can make more profit from your money potentially rather than being a bag holder? Because sometimes these things go for a year or two and they go sideways now. Didn't expect that on NVIDIA, but it's entirely possible. So remember, what we are witnessing here isn't just a partnership. It isn't just buying a billion dollars of chips. It is the birth of a whole new market, a whole new tech era that we haven't seen, well, really since the 90s. So I'm insanely excited by this and all the opportunities out there. If you got some value out of this, you can do what? You can share the video with a friend or a golden retriever. I love you for tuning in and for watching. Make sure you watch the masterclass. Get yourself a, a week's trial to, to, to trade vision. If you got some value out of that too, uh, let us know. And I wish you a beautiful day. Every single relevant company in the world is in this country. The second tier of those companies are in this country. The JV of these companies are in this country. 